What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I was literally about to record a video for this channel, had it all queued up and ready to go, and I decided to hop on Twitter because I got tagged in something by the homie Tommy. Shout out to the homie Tommy from Discord. I got tagged in something. He tagged me and JD from uh, NY206. He tagged us both. And I'm like, what are you tag us in? There's a clip of Tony Khan absolutely making a fool of himself for the NFL draft day. You know, the NFL draft is going on right now. So, it's gonna, you know, it's, it's going on for multiple days. But he was, you know, talking to a, a panel. And instead of just solely focusing on his product, he decides to completely go off the deep end for no reason other than to slander WWE, which makes absolute no sense. And it's funny because the dude has on this obnoxious neck brace, which honestly, I, I, I'm glad that he's keeping kayfabe alive because he did get packed up on his own show so the fact that he was in the boardroom in the war room or whatever you want to call it doing during the draft with the neck brace and stuff i thought that shit was quite hilarious so the the fact that he has this huge neck brace and he's just trying to bury wwe it's 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 insane bro y'all gotta see this if you haven't seen this already let me pull this up because this is just ridiculous bro what are you doing tony so let me pull this clip up. This is wild. This, just, just listen, y'all. Just listen. It's for five years. Uh, we are the most successful sports startup since the AFL uh, pre-merger. There has not been a challenger brand that has gained as much market share as AEW uh, in many, many, many years. We are like the Pepsi of pro wrestling. Yeah. And we're up against a really evil juggernaut. WWE is, uh, is our competitor. Can we stop? This evil juggernaut stop. Maybe it was ran once by an evil tyrant in Vince McMahon, but he's gone. Can we stop this? Stop. Stop. Some of your biggest stars are from WWE. Stop. Stop that. Let's not do this. He already starting off wrong. Why you even know oh, the, the evil juggernaut? What are you doing? Stop! Just focus on your bro on your show. What are we doing? Oh my God! Uh, that's who we're facing. AEW, like the Pepsi of pro wrestling. WWE's like the Harvey Weinstein of pro wrestling. And <laughs> okay. I'm really proud of what we. This man said this on draft kickoff draft day even the people on the panel are like oh, okay they're trying to skirt past it what are you on the nfl network what are you doing why would you how does this build up your product bro what are you doing oh my god it's like AEW is ran by a fucking fan of wrestling and not in a good way like it's ran by a, a fan <laughs> there's no way you own a business like this and you're talking like what do we do we do down here i think all right and uh all right tony we're gonna think, we're, look on, at this quick, real quick. what's the prognosis what are the doctors yes. telling you well, uh, you know, to be honest, uh, I think you're going to have to tune in to AEW to find out what, <laughs> uh, what they have to say. There we Silly go. Me. You find out on TNT and TBS what my prognosis is and what's going to happen to I, me. I'll tell you what. Save all that stuff. Just tell us who you're taking tonight. We'll take that yes. here. How about that? Well, I, guys, uh, you know, this is the NFL <laughs> Network. There's a lot of people watching. I can't give out that kind of sensitive information. And also a lot of things have to play out in right. the second and third round. And. You can bet Trent and Doug and this great yeah. group, we're going to make good decisions and uh, keep trying to make the team better. I think yeah. a lot of great things happening in Jacksonville this week. Yeah. That was awful, bro. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, my God. 
It's like he just doesn't learn. He keeps doing this. Wh why? Say what you want about Vince McMahon. Say he was a horrible human being. You can, I'm not even going, I'm not even going to argue with you on that. That's how you feel. That's how you feel. But I can never in a billion years ever see Vince McMahon doing some shit like this. It, it, why? No, this makes absolute no sense to do this instead of promoting your own show. Hell, Triple H is definitely not doing no shit like this. This is ridiculous. Why would you do this? Tony Khan is part of the tribalism part problem. He is. Whether you guys want to admit it or not, yes, WWE fans tend to do it, and I'm not a big fan of it either. I'm, I'm a big fan of all products, all shows having a place in the space. But Tony Khan is part of the problem. When you say stupid shit like this on the NFL network, your fans, the diehard fans, they eat this up. And this is what gives them that fuel like shit. The owner said it. So, yeah, man, WWE is the Harvey Weinstein of wrestling. Bro, what are you doing? That's just stupid. Why? After you had a solid show, people enjoyed Dynasty. There were some matches that people were considering match of the year. You're in this crazy angle now where you got packed up by your own EVPs. People are having some type of interest in it, whether it's to laugh at you or whether it's to actually check it out. And then you got the whole Jack Perry situation. There may be some momentum there only to say this. This is not even, like, you're, they're giving you a platform to just promote your show, and you do this. How many times will Tony Khan say some dumb shit on Twitter or sh stuff like this before somebody says something, say, hey, bro, stop? Because this is ridiculous. You make your company look like amateurs that's all i'm saying and i think there's very talented wrestlers there and i think you have something great there you just need to expound on it but when you do stuff like this this is ridiculous it takes away from everything that you've built what wwe super evil mega evil the worst place in the world for sure but they're selling out shows. WrestleMania 4 is one of the biggest, if not the biggest WrestleMania of all time. More people are watching the product than ever before. In a sense of like, I wouldn't say ever before because the 90s, I don't think we'll ever get to that point. Let me not say that because the 90s, that, that was different. Everybody was watching wrestling then. That, that's when wrestling was more popular. But it's, it's gaining more traction. It's gaining more mainstream appeal. And AEW is a part of that too. But when you do stuff like this, what the fuck are we doing? Ah. Oh. Yeah, man, I don't know, bro. This was this was cringe. And I, I want Tony Khan and I want AEW to succeed. But Tony Khan does not need to be the voice. He doesn't. He doesn't need to be the voice when it comes to stuff like this, the spokesperson, because he can't get that hate of WWE out. That's stupid. Instead of focusing and giving all your attention to your product, you're trying to hate and destroy another one, which you won't be able to. I'm sorry. You won't. You won't. It's just too big. Pause. But at the same time, you can make yours just as big. If you put in the time and the effort to focus solely on that, you have the talent, you have the roster, you have the people involved to make your show the best show possible. And us fans, we get to benefit from it. But you got to focus on that. Stop worrying about fucking WWE. Let them, let WWE do their thing. Y'all do y'all thing. And leave it at that. That's your best course.
focus on your company this is stupid comment down below let me know am i tripping or should tony khan really take a step back from being the spokesperson for aew let me know because i feel like he does this is too many times he's had outbursts like this whether it's on social media now on the nfl network where you're supposed to be talking about the nfl and they're giving you a platform to hype up your own show you instead try to bury wwe with a horrible comparison maybe you could have compared them to vince but to to try to slander the whole company as if there ain't a lot of great wrestlers that are friends with other wrestlers in your company there's a lot of great wrestlers that came from wwe that is in your company like let's not do that let's what are we doing but this fucking stupid bro let me know how y'all feel about it appreciate all love support roads on 50k and i'm still on speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all keeping with me see y'all next one peace fucking stupid